Hi guys, it's Jamie. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. It's really pretty out. It's sunny and there's a carnival downtown, so um, we're gonna check that out today. I have two projects to share with you, quick little um, projects. The first one here is a card I created um, with a background that I, I created a while ago, so I wanted to use it. And um, when I flipped it over this way, it kind of looked like um, grass, like sunset sky, because of the um, green, um, the orangey yellow color, and then the the blues. And the way I did the background was with Yupo paper and alcohol inks. I'll try to link that video um, up above to where I created um, a background like this. So that was really fun to do. Um, you could get really carried away and just keep going. It's really fun. Um, so the card is pretty busy, so it's it's more like a, a art piece than a card um, because it's like so busy, but it's so fun. And then I layered um, a grassy mortar, grassy meadows border by Lawn Fawn um, in here and I had the two little bear sitting there and this bear is like the papa bear protecting this little baby bear and the stamp sets that I used um, are from Lawn Fawn Let's see I used the dad plus me so I used the little bears really cute super cute stamp set um, I'm going to have this stamp set on sale um, for Father's Day this weekend, so um, I'll have that linked down below. And then I also use the Yay Kites, really super cute, and I'll have this one on sale as well. And this little cute little guy I used, and I love this set because they can actually um, use the little words as the strings of the kite. So I brought out the stamp to show you. You can use these words, and this is the big scripty words, um, as the string of the kites as well, and that would be really cute. So there's the kite from Yay Strings, and I just tied a little twine on there and um, swirled it around like that, um, attached it with some bling glue dots. And then this frame is from CC Designs, card number 13, as well as the um, clouds. And then after I was done with everything, I splattered it with some white paint because I wanted to kind of tie in the blue background with my card, so I splattered it throughout the whole thing so you could see the paint splatter on the card base as well. Um, the coloring is done with my Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers and I'll attach some coloring at the end of the video for you. You can also use my coupon code Jamie to save 10% off if you pick up any of these stamps today. And here's another little project that I did and this is using the new release from CC Designs to market and this is the cute little clear stamp. It comes with the sentiment just for you. I love the sentiment because it's got little hearts and little dots um, next to it and it's perfect to use for little like treats when you're sending out treats and things. So I colored her with Copic markers. There's a cup Copic coloring video on her so I'll try to link that above. And then I stamped out just for you. Um, made a little floor for her to stand on. And then what this is, is a wine bottle um, tag. So I thought this image was perfect for like a sparkling grape juice um, to take to a picnic or something like that because in her shopping bag she's got bread and grapes and you know bread and grapes always go good with like a wine. So since it's more of like a cutesy image um, I thought the sparkling grape juice would be perfect. And then I have this cute little um, applique of a strawberry with the gingham and that was from Mama's Treasures on Zibit as well as this cute little bow. So the measurements for this to create is seven and a half long 
by three inches wide and then you're just going to score it at three inches and then punch a circle in the middle and then that will go over your wine um, bottle neck and it'll hang down so that's all i have for you guys today and i will talk to you in the next video have a great father's day guys see you later bye guys